really has been amazing progress. It's a testament to just collaboration, teamwork, a common vision with a selfless disposition amongst all the members of the team. We have the most leverageable data for management of the white shark population now here than any other population in the world. So the future's bright for white sharks on the East Coast, which means the future's bright for humans off the East Coast. Expedition 45 in North Carolina started off with just an unbelievable weather window. We were able to get outside the Outer Banks just offshore of Ocracoke in North Carolina, and we were seeing sharks every day. There were two primary missions. Number one is to continue to close the gap on this mating, so we needed to see mature animals to do that. But also number two was to sample other animals in this region at this time so the scientists could understand how their physiological makeup looked compared to other parts of their migratory range. And we were humming with that. We saw four white sharks that we captured and tagged, saw another three or four that we did not. The main reason we're studying these white sharks is not only to understand where they are, but where they are and what they're doing and why they're doing it. So we can leverage that to manage them back to abundance to make sure they're thriving off the East Coast, which means humans will be thriving. So but this has been an unbelievable project as we get near the end. I mean, we now know where our white sharks are going, what they're doing when they go there, and why they go there. We have 80 peer-reviewed papers at OSEARCH now about this work and our other work around the world. And that is truly leverageable data for management. For the first time in history, all the states and the federal government across the United States and the provinces up in Canada can now actually manage white sharks. And that is the key so that we can create our own path toward abundance in the ocean.